thousand dollar home, twenty. You're looking at a twenty-three dollar and twenty-five cents for just the plants. A three hundred twenty-six thousand, three hundred twenty-six dollar per year increase in your taxes. Twenty-seven dollars twenty cents per month, or ninety-one cents per day. That's at 2005 when all three of these pro pro projects are running at one time. In 2006, the peak year for the school, obviously the most expensive, we're no longer paying for the plant, so it's just the school and the police station. We're at $1 on our tax rate. On a $200,000 home, that's $199.60 per year, $16.64 per month. $300,000 home, it's just under $300 a year, $24.96 per month, or $0.83 cents a day. That's it. So then for the next 20 years or so, it tapers off down again. We, we end up at $0.02. Cents in right. Now, one thing that I think it's important to point out is that you know what we're proposing right now, we proposed at town meeting, and what we're proposing for the uh, override in November is this first portion. Right. And we don't want to mislead anybody, as some people think we are trying to do, uh, that this is only a, you know, a piecemeal no. approach. This is a package plan. These schematic designs are being we're spending good money here to move forward with the plans and the renovations and additions to, to the high school, the middle school, and again, the, uh, the reuse of the bachelor school facility. So those are included on a timeline that we've established. Uh, and if, as these other things start to drop off and these other ones start coming yeah, on, yeah. what do we have for projected costs in the, the worst year? The worst year is 2006, based on the current plan. That's when all the other programs have, basically every program would be in effect in 2006 during construction. The overall cost at that point in time from a debt exclusion would be three million six a year. And that rate at that time is $2.97 on your tax rate per thousand. $593 per year, per year on a $200,000 home or on a $300,000 home looking at $890 <coughs> more per year. So $500 what? $593.03 on a $200,000 home. $889.54 on a $300,000 home per year. Right. And again, that's in the worst year to get a tape us off. Oh. That again, that's only seventy five dollars a month. Right. So now peak year. Yeah. All projects in effect. So not it's, taking into consideration those that are coming off. No, that takes into consideration those have that have come off, including okay. at that time that we would have lost the, the high school no, actually that is everything. The high school, the library, the little school, the hood school, Swan Pond, police station, the only thing that's off is the schematic plans. That's the high school, anything we do with the DPW, middle school, town hall reuse, fire station, phase two of the DPW. That is the whole project in excess of $45 million. And that's actually the worst case scenario because right. part of the projects that we're looking at in relation to the batch of the school reuse may actually be less than what the original proposal includes and what these numbers include. Uh, so this is pretty much a worst case, worst case scenario. Uh, including everything where these other projects have not fallen off the books. Correct. Apparently, like the, the, the library and the high school, previous high school renovation. Right. Things taper off dramatically after that. We lose things in 2007, 2008. Um, again, some of these projects have varying time spans of financing, anywhere from 5 to 25 years. So, so, so again, on a $200,000 home, uh, on the whole wall of wax here, it's $593 a year. In a worst three, case. Worst case. And on a $300,000 home, $890 per year. Now, uh, the, the point keeps being made by uh, lots of people who are concerned uh, for those people who are on fixed incomes and uh, you know, how can they afford to, to do this and they're being taxed out of their houses and out of their homes and all of that. And again, a lot of that is being driven again, by assessed valuations of properties. It's, Representative Jones and was alluded to earlier, the affluence of the community has gone up, the property values in the particular community has gone up. Uh, in addition to that, the, the, the cost of doing business has gone up. I mean, we still have to maintain the level of services that we currently enjoy, in addition to addressing the projects and the debts that we uh, have already previously incurred. Uh, 
uh, having said that, uh, the legislature uh, did address the situation uh, in order to assist those those people in that particular situation. And Representative Jones could just uh, address that. Uh, again, this is a proposal that they're entitled to, regardless of whether this right. flies or not. But it certainly helps people. Uh, I think it's a matter system. of just kind of making people aware. Um, I think you should touch on the community's experience increasing affluence. Doesn't seem like everybody in the community is affluent. So people need to make a, a decision and decide where they're at. So one of the things that the legislature did realize that property taxes continue to be a burden on people who, for lack of a better term, are going to be land rich and cash poor. Um, <clears throat> and we passed what's called the Circuit Breakers pilot budget last year. It goes into effect in tax year 2001. So if you file, let's say, April of 2002, uh, you would be uh, potentially eligible for this. Be 65, own your home. <clears throat> If you're a single filer, it's $40,000 limit on your income. If you're head of household, it's a $50,000 limit on your income. And if you're married and filing jointly, it's $60,000 limit on your income. For tax year uh, 01, filing in, let's say, April of 2002, you could qualify for a $375 credit, not a deduction, credit on your taxes um, from the state. And it's based on the amount of which your property taxes and one half your water and sewer bills, but for North Red, half your water bills, um, exceeds 10% of your income. And I won't try to do it off the top of my head, but those are a couple of examples that have been put in the transcript um, that I don't think are that probably unrealistic for North Reading. Um, in tax year 2002, it goes up to $750. So somebody could be getting a $750 credit, are eligible for that, uh, long before the peak year that, that uh, Mark alluded to uh, in going through the figures a few months ago. Um, I think one of the other positive things about this is that built into it is its index. One of the problems with previous abatements would be levels for qualifying and benefit level um, never changed. So you might have qualified for something, you know, if you were below $4,000, but as time marched on, you the lowest amongst us on the socioeconomic scale, $4,000, you still pass that. You still want um, so these are all indexed. So the benefit goes up well, every year, 750 goes up. Um, the qualifying levels go up. And your property and land as your principal residence uh, has to be worth $400,000 or less. And that too is indexed. So, uh, yes, uh, Bailey, yeah. One thing I would like to add to that is for um, low income seniors who maybe don't file returns now, you can file a return, get the credit, and, and get the money back, which may be applicable to some seniors in the lower income levels. So, right, if you, if you didn't owe taxes now, and <clears throat> uh, minus any if you filed, you would get the credit back. Uh, or if you maybe had, uh, you, you owed uh, $300 to the state um, and qualified for the 375 you get $75 back. But effectively, the state would subsidize, uh, cover, or reimburse you for $375 in property taxes in, in the first year. And then it goes up to 750 when it's fully implemented. Um, so I think even before, really, in, the, in these numbers, some of these people don't even realize that until 2002, 3, 4, um, people are going to stop getting that benefit. Um, and I would just say to people, they need to kind of do that calculation in their own mind. I mean, it may wipe out any increase in taxes they pay. Um, it may wipe it out and give them some extra money. Um, or they may decide that, well, even then I'll still come out ahead and this doesn't pass on. But I think that people need to be informed that this is a bill. Um, it, it is indexed, so it's not something that is, is right now going to see the erosion of inflation. Uh, I need to fact that into the decision process. Yeah, I, I think uh, one of the important things to point out is that in other communities that have been seeking debt exclusions, uh, the highlighting of this particular program that the legislature has enacted has assisted, and again, I've read another uh, newspaper accounts and, uh, and also in some of the uh, paraphernalia which has been going around and trying to support some of these projects, it has had a tremendous positive impact on people's decision-making process, uh, people who are in that income bracket, as you say, are land rich and cash poor, where they are committed to education. They've always been supportive of, uh, of uh, you know, educating our youth and putting them in, in good facilities, but find themselves financially strapped. And this has uh, relieved them of, or assisted in relieving them of the burden of, of worrying about, you know, Balancing Act. You know, this is what they've done is they've allocated this particular resource to the increase in the taxes on the real estate taxes. Again, it's, it is a cash money back from the state. It is not a, a, a tax rebate 
as far as taking it off your tax bill, this is a check that you're going to get from the state, uh, either in the form of a, a credit if you owe money to the state, or if you haven't filed it, Mrs. Bailey put out, uh, you can file it and you're eligible. And if you're eligible, you, you get the a check from the state. It's almost like an earned income credit on the federal level. I can tell you that I don't know how many have been given out at the uh, senior center, right? Uh, this is a very this is prime. Uh, but my office, based on town meeting and the transcript, has had dozens of requests for information to be sent. So I think one of the positive benefits of this whole debate now is to make people aware that this is out there on something that maybe uh, didn't get the attention, that it might have been something that you know, now people are aware, hey, next year, and I keep my records and keep track of it. And I think it's going to require you know, us as a community, and I think through our senior services and stuff, to outreach to those people who uh, maybe at a point in their life have a little, a little more fearful of government, um, a little more intimidated by government to, to try to help them and, and say, you know, you're not used to filing, you don't maybe have to put, let's reach out to those people and, and make sure that they get the benefits that they're entitled to. Mark, I'd like to clarify something. That number, sure. uh, the year 2006, the $2.97 for 1000 that 593 for 200000 that's an accumulative figure, right? Because that's not getting whacked with 593 in one year. That would be... That's 590. That would be an accumulation number of one no, project starting a year or two ahead of each other. In 2006, all projects are running at one time. Right. We're paying for all projects that, at no. that time. That's all projects increase to your tax rate, right. 593. But that would, some of those projects would have started two, three years before then. Correct. I'd like to clarify that because I don't want someone at home thinking, holy mackerel, I'm going to get hit with a $593 tax increase in the year oh, 2006. No, no that, that, that begins in, in the year 2001 with a $153 increase. Right. Moves up to $248. 309, 448, yeah. 545, So that, that's an accumulated figure. It's like saying it, 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 it sneaks up on you. I want the public to understand that's not no. one figure in the year 2006 of 593. That's an accumulated figure. Right. That that that, that oh, steps that. itself up. For that level it's a step up. Peaks out at the 593, therefore, then steps itself back down over the next 20 years. Mark, would you just <clears throat> that five? 593. Mm -hmm. um, how much more is that than the prior year? Well, the, the incremental increase? Yeah. That's what we need. $40. So that's what, 2006? It's a $38 increase from the prior year. In 2006. So from 2005 to 2006, 2006 would be $38 more than 2005. Right. It's not $500 more. No. Right. It's an increase of $38 on your I hope the public understands that. It's not an increase of 593 in one year. It's an increment of about $38 from the previous year, which would be a grand total of 593 over the I'm sorry, six years. $48. $48. $48. Mr. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. I want to make a comment in general that if we start translating all of these numbers that Marcus put at us here, uh, if you give up a Coke a day, a cup of coffee a day, or a tonic a day, you pay for your tax increase. If you want to look at it on a weekly basis, for those cigarette smokers, throw away a pack of cigarettes a week. Uh, for the non-smoker, give up a glass of wine a week. Uh, for those of us that don't eat at home very much, Sue is going to miss a meal a month. <laughs> I better get mine. <laughs> one meal a month out pays for your tax increase. And so to put it in perspective of magnitude of how this impacts your daily life, you can look at it in those terms and in that context, and the impact uh, becomes a little more real and a little less shocking. One of the other things that's important to note is that uh, some people are assuming that you know, if, if this doesn't prevail, you're going to be saving in year 2006 upwards of about $593 if you're always assessed at $200,000. And, and that's the furthest thing from the truth because what happens is if this particular project proposal does not go forward, we still have to do something. And the cost of doing something is extraordinarily expensive. And in most cases, and I would say unequivocally in almost all cases, it's going to be more expensive than this particular proposal. Because especially, out especially when you move it out, you know, five, ten, fifteen years out, because we 
we won't have anything that's reimbursable necessarily. 